Um, in terms of crop rotation, diversification, um, time management um, is, is really quite key and it's one of the big reasons why on our farm, why we do it. Um, equipment use efficiency, uh, we're seeding all that land with one drill and um, so the more I can get seeded in the fall, or in this case uh, dormant seeded in the winter, <laughs> the better. The only month we haven't seeded in our farm is July. but. Uh, this isn't a recommended practice, by the way. This was just an experiment, and uh, the results were variable. <laughs> but uh, so time management, both for yourself in terms of growing the crop, marketing the crop, uh, as well as uh, equipment use efficiency, and that would be in terms of seeding, spraying, and harvest. So spreading out um, all three of those operations. Um, there's a, what we've been talking about as well uh, yesterday and today is the effect of previous crops uh, on, on subsequent crops in terms of moisture and nutrient carryover resulting from various water, uh, water use efficiency and nutrient uh, use efficiency. And this, uh, this would be including pulses in irritation, for instance, would uh, reduce uh, fertilizer costs in the current and possibly subsequent year and increase protein levels. Um, Organic nitrogen becomes available differently than synthetic nitrogen fertilizers, so, so having, uh, having something like a pulse crop contributing to that fertility bank in your soil, um, you know, as well supplementing with additional fertilizer is a good practice. <laughs>